following the footsteps of history, you know, all the great players that have walked on this hallowed turf and uh, to finally experience it for the first time. It's, it's a dream come true. Uh, it's something that you know I've always seen other people do. I wondered if I'd ever get the chance, but here I am today. Weather's good, it's dry, it's not too cold. So yeah, I'm really excited to get going. So I'm excited because I love Lynx Golf, but so much more excited because obviously it's home of golf and who wouldn't be excited playing here? And, and it's not raining. <laughs> um, standing on that first tee, I know I'm going to be really nervous, but just the anticipation of playing such an iconic course. I'm not, not really worried about how I score, just to uh, get out there. With the AIG being here next year as well, that it's going to be awesome to play it, have that in my memory banks ready when it all kicks off next year as well, so it's really exciting. I mean, there's no other place like it. I think the AIG is one of the women's tournaments that everyone wants to win. Um, hopefully we'll see a, a home, home winner. It's been, it's been a while, so uh, Charlie was uh, close last year, so, or this year, sorry. But um, yeah, no, it's just, gonna, it's just fantastic to have it back here at such a brilliant place. And this has been on my bucket list for a good 20 years. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a course that as you, as I've always seen it on television, you know, some of the iconic holes, I've always dreamt of playing those. Um, and hopefully doing them justice, doing myself justice. Um, so yeah, it's been a long time coming, but uh, I'm lucky to get my chance today. Yeah, there's a couple hole 11, that par three, uh, right out the other side of the golf course. So I'm really excited to, to play that one. It looks great on television. The green looks tricky, so I'm excited to see how I can approach that. I, honestly, I'm looking forward to playing all of them. I really am, genuinely. I just, I can't wait to get going and I'll probably want to go out again and I won't be able to. Once, because once you've played it once, then you know where you're going, and I think it's always the second and third time. So hopefully, I might come back. <laughs> yeah, I think on the first tee, I always get nervous on the first tee, so this is going to probably feel ten times worse. So as long as I get the ball airborne and away, I'll be happy. And with everyone telling me that it's one of the widest fairways in golf, I'm thinking, well, if I can't get on this fairway, then I have got big problems. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty nervous now, half an hour for my tea time, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, when you come in here, see the first tee for the first time in, in person, it, it definitely looks a bit wider than I thought it was going to be, which is good. Uh, the wind is off the right as well, which is pushing it away from the outbounds, which I'm absolutely delighted about. But yeah, it's, it's just going to be a three iron kind of punch shot, a little bit of a cut to hold it against the wind. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. And uh, I'm, you know, hopefully I can keep it in play. Today, something I teach all the people that I coach is to shrink your target. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a window or a top of a top of a building, top of the trees, something in the distance, and try and let everything else just melt away. And so I'm I'm not aware of any trouble. So just a bit of sharpen the focus, shrink the target, that kind of stuff. I just want to go out there, enjoy it, take it all in, take in the experience, and as long as it doesn't rain, I'll be I'll be happy. It was an amazing experience, like the goosebumps really hit you when you're walking kind of around the first tee and uh, even though I could nearly missed it off the first, it didn't matter, I managed to get it down there and make a par on the first, it was great, but yeah, it was an unbelievable experience, the course was in incredible condition for the end of October and the size of some of the green complexes will genuinely blow you away, there's a, there's a few shared greens out there and it must take them all day to mow some of those double greens, it's unbelievable, but I think the best thing about playing at the old course doesn't really matter how you play, 
you'll still enjoy yourself. It's still an incredible experience. I played the last two holes, absolutely shocking, but I still thoroughly enjoyed it. And that's part of the charm of coming to you know, the home of golf. You've just got to experience it. In fact, I, I think I had sort of goosebumps actually once I was walking down the first, thinking that was just so, so memorable to tee off, tee off the, here in front of the home of golf. Uh, has to be the first. I was so relieved to get the ball off the first nicely and to bogey the first. That was me done. I thought if I don't do anything else today, that's brilliant. <laughs> A really special feeling being out there. Feels like hallowed ground, doesn't it? I nailed it off the first tee, so I took, I take that. But when you're out there, I think what I did today, which is not think about my score, just kind of soak up every hole and look around, look at the course planner, look at everything, just take it all in, rather than focusing loads on the scorecard. I think that's, I took that advice myself today and it paid off, because I'm buzzing, loved it. Yeah, I'd say you have to experience this place. Like it genuinely sends goosebumps down your spine when you kind of come onto the area, you know, even around the first tee, thinking that, you know, even when I'm thinking of my first open, I remember watching Tiger Woods hitting some putts on there and to do the same thing and kind of follow him down the first tee, you know, it's, it's an amazing experience. So if you haven't done it already, 100%, you've got to come down here and experience not just the course, but also the town as well, because that is also an amazing experience.